Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you about EpiPens, uh, Jext, Emirates, and adrenaline auto-injectors in general, um, particularly in the light of the recent rationing that's happening and the extreme shortages of these life-saving devices that we are experiencing. So, five to eight percent of children um, have food allergies and a fifth of all fatal reactions occur at school, which is pretty frightening. Um, so that's just focusing on the school children. There's an awful lot of other people that carry adrenaline auto-injectors because they are frightened um, and at risk of a life-threatening allergic reaction. So it's really vital that all these people have immediate access to their adrenaline auto-injectors and they need to have two of them with them at all times. And there's various reasons for needing two. Uh, one of the most important is that sometimes the device itself fails and there's been recent problems with Emirate that have now been sorted and the batches were recalled that had this issue where they weren't firing properly. So that's now resolved, but it did highlight an issue that can occur. There's also situations um, for a, a great number of people who suffer from anaphylaxis where the first adrenaline auto-injector um, will not be sufficient and they will need a second dose in order to give them enough adrenaline to reduce the the signs and symptoms that they're experiencing and the life-threatening um, symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction. And you can give your second um, adrenaline auto-injector um, five minutes after the first. So really important that um, everyone who has these is carrying two with them at all times. And it's really important too that you give adrenaline first to somebody with, known, with a known food allergy who has a sudden onset breathing difficulties and you think that they could be having an allergic reaction. So don't fuss with anything else. If they have an adrenaline auto-injector, the advice is to give that straight away. The sooner you can give this, um, the better the body's response. So if they're having a, a non-life-threatening reaction, just a local reaction, then antihistamine will work. But it can take about 15 minutes to, um, to react and to, to begin to take down some of the signs and symptoms. Um, and that you haven't got that much time if it's a serious anaphylactic reaction. So if they are having a systemic reaction or if they're having breathing problems or swelling that is causing constriction and um, they are having you know, the signs and symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction, so they may have hives, it's a systemic body reaction, um, they may collapse, then you need to um, give adrenaline straight away. Positioning is important too, so if they are having breathing problems, don't lie them down because it'll make it harder for them to breathe. So get them onto the floor um, and have them sitting up a little bit. Whereas if they're not having breathing problems, lying them down and raising their legs is the best way um, whilst you're waiting for the emergency services. And you are always calling the emergency services as soon as you've given the adrenaline auto-injector. So there are serious supply issues at the moment and the anaphylaxis campaign have issued the following advice. So if you have an adrenaline auto-injector, ensure you know how to use it. Frightening as it seems, there's an awful lot of people carrying these around for themselves or their children um, or, you know, who do not know how to use this in an emergency. It's really easy to use. They say that you should know how to use it and you should train others, say, train your friends and your family so they are competent using it too. You can get a trainer device free from um, the website of whichever one of these you are using. So you can contact them, get a trainer device, and that enables you to, um, to try it and learn and feel what it's like. You hold it in the dominant hand, you take off the cap with the other hand, and then you put it in the upper outer part of the thigh, you push it in hard, and, um, and then, then you wait. Depending on the device, you may need to hold it for 10 seconds, or otherwise it's just two seconds, and then you remove it. 
Um, so Borden, hold it in your dominant hand, use the other hand, take off the cap and put it straight in to the upper outer part of your thigh. Okay, um, so the supply issues are causing serious problems. So we hope that everyone's got two adrenaline auto injectors um, at all times and that is the advice from the anaphylaxis campaign. They say always carry two pens. They say register the expiry date so that you have ample warning um, when it's about to expire so you can get a prescri prescription in good time. And it's really important that you get your new replacement before you get rid of your old one because there may be a delay. Um, so that is some really good serious ad advice um, to keep you safe. Now, some of the adrenaline auto injector companies have also given the advice for specific auto injectors that um, you can extend the expiry date. So they were for some specific ones saying, actually, you know what, you can use this three months out um, beyond its expiry date. So again, that information can be found on their websites as to whether they still have the supply issues and that's the problem. Uh, and that's what they're recommending. As it is today, they still have the supply issue problems. And in addition, um, the central pharmacy regulators have advised all pharmacies that they're operating special measures around adrenaline auto injectors. So even if your GP has prescribed two adrenaline auto injectors for um, your child to have at home, two for them to have at school, two for them to have at granny and granddad's, then your pharmacy may not be allowed to give out all those auto injectors. They may only be able to give two. They are not allowed to prescribe beyond that because of imposed rationing because of the acute shortage to make sure that everyone has everything that is, you know, that they need. And this causes real problems to schools because schools would like every child to have two at school. And obviously logistically getting them to take them home and have them with them is, is a problem. So it will be interesting um, how the different schools are going to react to this and what is going to happen. But at the moment there is still an acute shortage of adrenaline auto injectors. And as of today, or as of July, um, there has been a, a degree of rationing um, in place um, because the stocks are so low. And uh, so that is something to be aware of. Um, schools are allowed an emergency auto injector so they can buy um, those to have as backup. They are not to replace the child's own auto, in, um, auto injector. That every child should have adrenaline auto injectors that are in date with them in school. Um, the other thing that's important when you are looking to give the auto injector, particularly if you're using it beyond the expiry date, is that adrenaline will deteriorate beyond the expiry date. And so it's really important that you look in that little window and ensure that the, the liquid is clear and please don't use it dramatically beyond the expiry date because it's unlikely to be as potent as you need. So make sure you are looking in advance, you are very aware of these shortages and that you are doing your absolute best to get a prescription in very good time. So if the pharmacy has a long lead time in getting that into stock, that you're not going to be left high and dry without an auto injector when you need it. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and onlinefirstaid.com. Um, it's a complicated issue. I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you for listening.